Hey everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to discuss about this text element in the stream grid that is Markdown. Markdown is a lightweight markup language that you can use to add the formatting elements to the plain text documents. Using Markdown, you can create headings, you can create the bold to the text, italic effect, etc. Before getting started, I request you to download the Markdown or text in the resources. Alright, I already downloaded this markdown.txt and also having some kind of a text inside this markdown. Let me use this and do some kind of a formatting to our plain text. Alright, let me close this. Let's start the markdown in Streamlit by creating a file and name that as text elements underscore markdown.py. The first and foremost thing we need to import streamlit as st. Import streamlit as st. Okay. Markdown is basically the way of representing the text. We can create the markdown by using st. Markdown is a module. We can use a markdown. And now here we need to provide the body of sim simple like you know text. The body is basically a string. I'll provide the body of strings. Let me create the three codes here. And inside the three codes, I'll write all the text elements here. Okay, the first thing is welcome. This is basically uh, similar to the plain text. If you execute this program, it is more or less similar to the plain text that you're displaying with st.write. Let's first run this application. You can go to terminal and create new terminal. Now, in order to run this app, type streamlit run text elements underscore markdown dot pi. Press enter to execute. All right, you can notice that our app is running. Let me open my browser, and this is what my browser where my streamlit app is running. Please notice that it was running in the local host eight five zero one which we already discussed in the previous lesson. And here we can notice that like, you know, we have a text that is welcome. This welcome is basically the plain text. Even if you write any element or any text with st.write, we will get the same information. But Markdown is a special way of writing the text. So let me explain you the Markdown here. The, first of all, let's start with the headers by creating the Markdown. So what we will do is that a single hash will basically create the header level 1. Now save this and reload our application. If you rerun this, and this is what the title effect we can get here. So this one, the single hash is basically represents the header level 1. Alright, in order to know more about the Markdown basic syntax, I request you to go to the URL markdownguide.org slash basic syntax where it will give you the all the basic syntax that was there in the markdown for example creating the heading you need to use a single hash which will basically create the heading level one and double hash stack will create the heading level two and so on and also this website shows you the different markdown commands that was commonly used i'm going to show you the different basic syntax that was commonly used in the markdown for that, what I will do is that let me go back to the markdown.txt and copy the, all the text that was there here and paste it here. What I will do, I will paste it here. Cool. Now I have successfully pasted all the text that was there in the markdown.txt. Let me save this and go back to my app and let me rerun my app so this is what exactly is happening here and here you can notice that i have some text and images and everything is there which was there in the text let me try to understand one by one and how we can able to beautify this text etc everything we're going to see in this lesson let me minimize this okay let's try to understand the step by step the first hash is basically represents the markdown in the title format so that's what it means that like you no know, for header level one we need to use a hashtag for example if i press hash and uh, if I, I need to give some space here and if you give some space and basically it will give you the header level one and similarly for the heading level two 
it is the two hashtag and heading level three is the three hashtag and heading level four is the four hashtag and so on so what we will do let me save this and open my application and see the effects rerun my app and here you go you can see that this is my markdown and for the heading level one or title use we need to use the hashtag for the heading level two we need to use the two hashtags and for the heading level three we need to use the three hashtags and so on cool right so with this is very very simplest way of representing the text with the markdown okay let me see more about this and here in order to create the paragraph what you have to do is that if you're not specifying anything here and this will basically create the paragraph something like this what you have noticed here is that this and all the paragraph I have not created any effects which will represent the simple paragraph or simple text representation okay so let me do one thing let me put some line or horizontal line in order to create the horizontal line I can create the three lines which will basically create the horizontal line now save this and open my application rerun it and you can notice that there is a line which actually comes here which is the horizontal line so everything whatever you want to create we can easily create using the markdown the next effect we're going to see in the markdown is the emphasizing the text emphasizing the text is something like making the text bold italic and bold italic so for this what I will do for emphasis let me create the subheading which is the heading level 2 and this will basically create the heading level 2 so one of the important thing we need to understand is that when when to use this uh, uh, hashtag for example the good practice is that we need to use this hashtag and followed by one space then only it will create that effect suppose if you are not creating any space and if you open the app again let me see this rerun the application and here you go is that we created the hashtag but without any effect in the text in order to get the effects in the text get activated they need to specify the space now save this and go back to my application and rerun this and here you go this is what the emphasis we got here okay let me minimize this and the emphasis is basically creating the text bold bold italic and so on okay see in order to create the bold in the text we need to basically create the two stars between the word for example this will basically create the bold in the text and to utilize the text we need to use the single star which will basically utilize the text and similarly in order to get bold and italic effect we need to use the three stars between the text and which will basically create the emphasis effect okay so let me save this and open my application here you can notice that we have the bold text and we also have the bold italic and this is the italic in the text cool right Suppose if, you, suppose if at all you want to create the new line then what you will do is that at the end of the line press enter and just maintain some gap between the two text which will basically create the line effect. Let me go back to my application and rerun my application and here you go you can notice that okay this is the making the bold text. Let me do one thing let me create one more enter here now rerun this this is cool and this is the emphasis which is nothing but making text bold italic and bold italic and which is to to create the bold we need to use the two stars for italics we have to use the single star and for bold italic we have to use the three stars cool so this is how we can able to create the emphasis effect in the text and the next way of representing the text element is the block quotes block quotes is something like creating the quotes in the text so let me look into that let me open my code again and create the heading block quotes it's a subheading block quotes and for creating the block quotes I'm going to use this text so to create the block quotes what you have to do is that we need to use the angle brackets okay that's what we have to use to create the block quotes okay so this is my paragraph and so that i can get this so in order to create that 
block codes we have to use the angle brackets to create the block codes let me save this and open my application rerun this and we got this effect this is because we create the heading level 2 and there you go you can notice that we have the codes is there which is basically creates the block codes suppose I want to create the block code within the block code then I have to use the angle bracket two times which will create the block codes within the block code nothing but nested block codes let me save this and open my program rerun my application and here you go this is what you can notice that we have a block code and within that block codes we have one more block code cool so this is how we can create the block codes using markdown and the next kind of text effect that you're going to see is the list there are two types of list out there one is order list and second one is an order list so let me look into the both the order and also an order list so this is my two hash talk which will basically create the header and let me create the subheading for the order list three hashtag will basically create the subheader effect and which will capable to get that in order to create the list let me create the order list what you have to do is that we can simply pass the numbers for example this is one this is second item this is third item and this is fourth item and so on so this will basically create the order list let me save this and go back to my application and rerun my application and here you go this is my list and inside the list we have the order list and you can notice that we have the first item second item third item and the fourth item and the so on we have some numbering effect is there so this is what the idea of the order list we can also create the indentation order list too for that we need to maintain one tab and after the tab we need to queue the numbering to that let's say this is my one and uh, this is my two and so on okay now let me save this and go back to my application rerun this and here you go this is what my first item second item and third item and this is my indented item means within that list we have one more list is there so that's what we can create the order list let me also see the unordered list too so in order to create the unordered list let me create the subheading which is unordered list so in order to create the unordered list we need to use either hyphen or star or plus is basically used to create the unordered list for example this is my first item second item and third item fourth item and so on which is how we can basically create the unordered list if we save this and open my application and rerun this and here you go we have the unordered list and this is what we have is the unordered list we can also maintain the indent list just like the order list for that what we will do is uh, we will press tab and uh, we will create the hashtag this is my indent item one and so on let me save this and rerun my application and here you go this is what the indent item which we can able to get this okay so this is what the idea of the an order list now the next way and also most useful way of representing the text is creating the links let me see how to create the links in the markdown so this is my links let me use the two hashtags to in order to create the links we need to enclose some text within the brackets for example uh, this is uh, my paragraph so here you can notice that my favorite search engine is DuckDuckGo and we need to maintain the URL within the brackets so with this will basically create the URL and to which text I need to apply the link to that which is should be in the square braces okay now let me save this and go back my browser rerun this and this is my links and here you go you can see that my favorite search engine is dr go i click on that it will go back to my new page which is redirected to the whatever the url i entered 
that's what the cool thing we can create the URLs or links in a very very simple way similarly the links you can also create the URLs and also the email address to that let me also see that in order to quickly create the URLs or the email address we can simply create the angle brackets so this angle brackets will create the URLs okay let me create the subheading or heading and this is my paragraph and here you go you can notice that this is my website which is data science .com. and also this is my email address so let's save this and read on my application and here you go okay let me do one thing let me create um, uh, an order list let's say this time I'm going to create the half start See, you can use star or plus sign symbol to create the on order list. Okay, go back and read on my application. And here you go. Uh, we have my the name of the website is the data science anyway.com and the, my email address is srikandakoju at the of gmail.com. Okay, so this is how we can simply and quickly came and can able to create the URLs for the email address, etc. And the next thing is that I'm going to show you how to add the images. So just like the creating the URLs, creating the images also very, very simple in the markdown. In order to create the images, what we have to do is that we need to pass the exclamatory mark. That's what we have to use and followed by alt text that should be passed within the brackets. Okay. So I already have some information is already there this is what actually my mean like uh, we need to start with the exclamatory mark and this is my alt text and the next one is the url of the image if you pass this and this will be able to display the image let me save this and go back to my browser and refresh it here you go this is what the image that we are going to display here and uh, it's very simple right what you have did is very very simple is exclamatory mark mountains this is simple alt text and the url url of the image that's it with this we can able to get the image here that's what we can able to display it here we run this so that you can see the effects and so on so what you have noticed is that is the markdown where I shown you the different levels of representing the text like heading subheading headers etc and we also saw the emphasizing effects block codes list order list on order list URLs and images and there are many many things which we can do in the markdown like creating the formulas like latex etc I request you to go to the website like markdownguide.org and which gives you the very coolest way of different way of writing the markdown text like we also have the cheat sheets for the markdown like how you can able to create the headings order list etc and also creating the tables footnotes task list etc and many many things which we can easily can able to do with the markdown so this is how we can able to use the markdown and streamlit in the next lesson, we will talk more on this. Until then, happy learning.